Hello team! So today we're going to be doing Anagram. So this is um, HackerRank solution. I'll show you how to do it. Please like and subscribe the video. It really helps with the algorithm. So I'll pause, I'll pause for you to do that. And you can always unsubscribe. Okay. So let's keep going. Alright, so the key in this thing in here, right, is they want you to split the... Uh, I think they want you to split it into two, right? Let me just real, read it real quick, okay? Break into two parts, right? All where they have to be used, subscreen are continuous, and then length are equal. Okay, so... Okay. So basically what they want you to do, they want you to split into two and letters from that second one check if they exist in the first one. If they exist, we want to replace the letter with like anything, with an X. If not, then... Um, so this is what I want, they want us to do. Basically, I'll show you, right? A, B, C, C, D, E. A, B, C. C, D, E. All right. So what are we going to do? We're going to check. Oh. There's nothing in common. Okay, let's do this. A, B, A, and then B, 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 I think. I think it was one of the... Um, yeah, let's take this one here. Only we're going to replace A with a B. So this is what they want us to do. This is a string 2. This is string 1. All right? So this is what they want us to do. Look at the first number. So we're going to use 4 each, naturally. B. Is B found in here? If yes, we're going to replace it with 1, right? Or with empty, with the empty string. We're going to do this, all right? So B is now done. Move on. If B is found, move on, right? Is B found? No. Okay. Move on. Is B found? No. Move on, right? So then we're going to filter, and we're going to be left with AA. And then this length of this array is going to be the answer. And that's it. Okay, so the key in here is once you find an element from string 2 in the element string 1, you have to get rid of it. You have to... You can put one into it, you can put um, blah if you want, anything that will get rid of it from the first array. Otherwise, you're going to have duplicates. And that's the key. That's it. So you take a, um, they're going to give you A, B, A, B, B. We split it into two. We're going to have string one, string two. We're going to iterate through string two and see if the element in the first string is found. If it's found, we're going to get rid of it. And that's it. That's the solution. All right, so now let's actually do it. So we, let's take this. I think there was also a clause where if you, if you cannot split the string into two, uh, you return minus one or something. But we can deal with that later. We can deal with that later, right? So let's just do... Let string one s one equals this. Let's just do it for now like this. If uh, something doesn't work, we can always adjust it. You know. Uh, let's get the code. Okay. So let String 1 is going to be string slice 0 to 
as length minus one, I think, right? Is it? Let's see. Oh, my apologies. Divide by two, Jesus. I'm trolling. Sorry about this. So let s two. Actually, let's call this string, so you don't you don't get confused, okay? String two s slice s length divide by two, and then s length. So we're getting the second. We're getting the second part. All right. Hmm. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> so now we're going to be iterating, iterating through um, string two. String two dot split for each element let's quickly console log just to make sure we don't have any problems all right so now let test equals um string one remember string one we're looking at string one Okay, remember we are looking at string one. We are iterating through string two and we're looking at string one. Does it contain the element from the string two? All right, so string one dot you can do includes, right? Element B. So let us add b in here so we get the same outcome so okay you see the problem right you see the problem it's always finding the b you see so for every test we checked every b and it always found the b but we know there's only one b only one should be true so we have to get rid of this b somehow all right so this is what we're gonna do if test is true, so it found it. If test is true, we're going to take string one. We're going to replace element, which is B, right? So remember, it found the B. We need to somehow get rid of it. So we're going to replace it with um, zero. All right, boom. So now if you look at string uh, console log string one, you'll see it's going to have a oh whoopsie string one is equal to you see now we got rid of the b and it's no longer finding it does that make sense okay so now we have a string with two elements that were not found from the array b uh, from the string two so string two so these two elements are missing from um, string, um, basically they're not there, right? So we checked B and we found it. We got rid of it. We checked B, it's not here. So we have to replace this A with a B. And then again, we check this B, it's not found. We're gonna have to replace it. Now in the question, they're gonna ask you, you know, uh, how many numbers do you have to replace, right? But realistically, if it's absent, you're going to have to replace it, right? So you can kind of ignore that part of the question and just think in terms of how many uh, number, how many letters are missing from string in string one from string two, right? Just my, please draw it, okay? Please draw it. Don't do it in your head. My biggest kind of the biggest complaint I have with people when I talk to them and explaining stuff is they try to do it in their heads. Very, very important. Think on paper. Think on paper. 
All right. So now, naturally, what we want to do, we want to do this. Look, string one. Um, string one equals string one dot slice. Oh, whoops, split. Like so. Filter element element does not equal to zero. All right, and then we want to return string one dot length, and that's it. That's that's going to be your answer, because now we know that we have to replace two letters inside A, so it will be exactly the same as B. Because we have to replace A with a B, that's one, B we keep, and then we take A and replace it with B. Now we have three Bs in string one and three Bs with string two. Now it's an anagram. Done. All right, so now let's check if the code is going to work. I'm going to laugh so hard if it's not going to work. Oh, whoopsie. Yeah, it's probably they want me to console log it, possibly, no? No! I think that should be the solution, right? Oh, it's probably because if it's like one letter, um, it should not work. That's that's one of the things is, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So the first thing you need to do is you need to check whether the length. Yeah, because some strings will not, you will not be able to split into two. All right, so we're going to check. Um. Can we split it, right? So let split test equals s s length uh, remainder two should be zero, should be zero, right? If split test is false, right? Because let's say we put um, like so. Let us console log like this. False, right? Yeah. So if split test is false, i.e., you cannot ret you cannot split into two. Uh, return minus one. I think that's what they want us to do, right? Let me just check real quick. I think there was also another one where they um, want you to return zero. There was another one. I think that the zero ones are going to fail, right? Where they ask you to return zero. Yeah, it could fail on the, the speed as well, because you have to get rid of console logs. Yeah, it's just too long. All right, so the way to do that, uh, we need to get rid of console logs, basically. Normally, when it fails, it fails because of console logs. Ta -da -ta -ta -ta. Because I don't, I don't see. Um, uh,
yeah there you go that's it done okay so again like the core idea is the most important part of this the most important part is to get rid of the b once it's found so do you remember check for b b is found replace it with anything you want put like i don't know one instead of it right and then iteration done b is it found no b is it found no and then we're going to filter so we're going to get a a and that's going to be your answer and that's it and the second one is if the string cannot be split into two so there is like i don't know five characters in the string return minus one and that's it that's your solution all right take care